All right, now that you have your training video just the way you want it, you've already done your editing, it's ready to go, time to publish your project. Now you can publish replay projects to Articulate 360 to collect feedback with Articulate Review, or you can simply publish them as MP4 videos on your local computer and then add them to your e-learning courses. Here's how you do it. Let's begin with publishing to Articulate 360. So come on up to the Publish button on the ribbon and click it. And when the Publish window opens, you see the Articulate 360 tab is the first tab. Now you have a couple options here for publishing. Right now, by default, it's going to want to create a new item if you have not created any items before. So you can give it a new name, and the name right now is being pulled, uh, you see up here from the file, but I can also rename that. If you've already published a version of your project, Articulate 360 will track that version history, and so you can upload a new version of a previously recorded project. And you can see right here that I already do have one version of my project that I uh, recorded and published earlier. Let's go ahead and just create a new item and we'll just give some spaces in here. So replay e-learning challenges. And we'll click publish. So replay is going to publish the project and upload it to Articulate 360 all at once. Now how fast this happens depends on the size of your project and your internet speed. All right, when publish successful window opens, go ahead and click view published video and you can open your project in Articulate 360 and you can manage your video just like all the other content in Articulate 360. Now to distribute your project, you can give viewers access to your published video. So in your web browser, you have the share option right here where you can copy this link and paste it in an email or any other form to share with your learners. If you want to set a password, you can to protect your, your page so that only uh, users with the password can access it. Now for viewers to comment on your video, they'll need to sign in with their Articulate ID. Now if they don't have one, they can go ahead and create one for free, but they'll need to log in before they can add feedback on your video. Now if you want to just share your video, you're pretty confident that it's good, you don't need any feedback, just click this ellipsis button right here and you can disable comments. And that turns off the comments and presents your video in the full screen mode. All right, I'm gonna jump back to replay and I'm just gonna go back through the publish options for publishing a video to file. So click the publish button. In this case, if you just want a video file to insert in your e-learning course, you can just choose video file Give your project a name. In this case, if I want to give it the same name, I can do that. And then you can also choose where to save it. Right now it's saved into my desktop. I can obviously browse for a different folder, different location on my hard drive and save the video that way. Click publish and I'm going to create an MP4 file from my training video. Now because Replay encodes the project as an MP4 video, they're perfect for embedding in e-learning courses like Storyline, or uploading to the web as standalone video projects. So there's a big picture view of publishing your Articulate Replay 360 training videos to Articulate 360, as well as an MP4 video that can be dropped into an e-learning course. As always, give it a try, play with it, try the different publishing options, and of course, if you have any questions, just post in the forums, and one of us will be more than happy to jump in and give you a hand.